गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ इंग्लिश वन माई सेल्फ मिसिस नायरा शेख योर इंग्लिश वन टीचर हैज कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो फॉर यू आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज क्लोथ्स दिस इज आर सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन द सेम टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट हाउ क्लॉथ इज बिन मेड एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ फाइबर्स आर यूज इन मेकिंग क्लॉथ टूडे वील मूव अहेर विद द सेम लेसन an activity take clean water in a small bucket soak the clothes you have worn all day long in the bucket so what will you do students you will ask your mama to give you a clean bucket and put in that clean water and then the clothes that you have been using the whole day long you will soak that clothes in the bucket for an hour or so before taking them out rinse and squeeze them out properly in the bucket itself so before you remove the clothes out from the soap water bucket you will see that you rinse those clothes that means you will put it under the tap and rinse it properly so that all the soap water that is there in the cloth is released out and then you will squeeze that cloth properly out in the bucket itself now observe the water in the bucket look at the water students in the bucket how does it look is the water still clean no the water in the bucket has become muddy water now is the water in the bucket still clean or do you see any change in the water you will see that when we use clothes they become dirty can you tell can you give some reasons why clothes get dirty now clothes can get dirty for various reasons maybe while playing when you play football or cricket or maybe when you're eating something something spills onto your clothes and your clothes get dirty or if you have sat on a dirty surface then also there are chances that of your clothes getting dirty there are many more reasons you can make a list of the same wearing clean clothes is a good habit so when we get up in the morning the first thing that we do is we will go to the washroom take a bath clean ourselves and wear clean clothes it's always good to wear clean clothes students and to keep our body clean the next activity with what do we wash our clothes at home so when you wash your clothes at home or when you must be seeing your mama washing your clothes at home with what does mama wash clothes correct she washes clothes either with soap maybe in the machine or she might be giving it to the laundry or the next option she might be washing clothes at home itself but to wash this clothes what do we require yes we require soaps so now we move ahead with the next question which are the different types of soaps for washing clothes are sold in the grocery shops so which are the soaps we find in the grocery shop students we either find a nirma soap or we find rin we find ghadi we find shine care or we find master there are various other soaps also that are available in the shop we realize that various types of soaps are used to clean clothes so there are different types of soap bars or detergent powders or liquid soaps that we use to keep our clothes clean the next activity we can all try this at home students buy some ritha that's called as soap nuts as shown in the image soak them in water in warm water specifically stir the water what happens next you will see it yourself add washing soda to the water and store the water what happens now soak the dirty clothes in this water that you have just prepared wash these clothes after half an hour so after preparing the solution you're going to soak your dirty clothes 
in the solution itself for how long students correct for half an hour and after half an hour once you wash the clothes you will find the clothes have become clean soap nuts washing soda hinga a bit limestone etc are used to wash clothes these substances are all known as natural substances that means they don't have any sort of chemicals in them can you tell do you still use the clothes you wore in the first standard the students first standard that is 3 years back the clothes that you used to use are you still using the same clothes or have you outgrown them if you don't what clothes do you use now if you're not using the clothes that you used to use in the first standard then what type of clothes are you using now try this did you know that old clothes can be exchanged for new utensils talk to people whose occupation it is to trade old clothes in exchange for new utensils so we might be seeing students in our area people come along with vessels and if you give them a proper amount of clothes they weigh those clothes and they give you utensils in exchange for them have you come across them students clothes are durable that means they are long lasting therefore even if they become old they can still be used so usually what do we do either we keep those clothes stacked at home and we use them as a rubber or scrubber or then we give them out in exchange of utensils or we throw them out that means we dispose them out but are you aware that these old clothes also can still be of some use to you you can use them as a towel you can use them as door mats or as a carpet as well or you can also make a quilt out of them old clothes can be used to make new cloth thread bare clothes can be pumped and used to make paper or paper plates flowers etc so these are the different uses of old cloth that can be done study the pictures observe the differences in the different type of clothes now in india we have people of various religions various cultures various traditions who reside in the same locality with you so you might come across a various couples as well with their change in culture the diversity that means the difference in their culture in their wearing outfits in their food is all due to the geographical differences but still we all stay united together in your in the image we can see a couple who is a rajasthani a punjabi as well as a maharashtrian couple together and you can notice the type of ornaments the type of clothes gather old as well as recent photographs of your grandparents parents and your relatives students look at this image what can you see in this correct we can see three generations here one is the grandfather second is your father and third is you you might see a change in the type of clothes that your grandfather wears your father wears and what you wear why is that so because as the generations pass as time passes we all adapt to different type of choices that we like people who are old are more comfortable in being simple while maybe the ones that are younger than them prefer to be more modernized to dress well to wear fancy clothes like you children as well there may be many more reasons compared to these students i hope you have understood this chapter i would now request 
everyone to kindly subscribe to our channel to avail further notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you and have a nice day.